I don't remember why I have this collection, or where or when I acquired it, maybe a few years ago, but I have a folder of ROM hacks for Mario games. Even as I'm writing out this initial portion of the video script, I haven't opened it up and looked inside it yet. I think these are probably just going to be sprite hacks of the original Super Mario Bros. game, and maybe a few hacks of Super Mario Bros. 2 and 3 as well, but we'll see. It's been long enough that I honestly don't remember. Alright, let's see what we've got here. 40 games, and number one is 2600 Bros. So, like, an Atari 2600 version of Super Mario Bros.? Why not an Atari 2600 ROM, then? That might be more interesting just to see what you could get away with doing on an older platform. Or is that hypocritical of me now after I complained about porting Sonic the Hedgehog to NES? Eh, I don't know. Okay, apparently Mario is called Harry now. But I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what to do here on this title screen. Pressing the start button doesn't start the game, and none of the other buttons seem to do anything, so... Yeah, great game to open this video with. It doesn't do shit. Number two is Evil Mario. Yeah, okay, that's freaky. Nice font, though. World Zero One. And we're starting in an underwater level. And is Demon Mario blowing blood bubbles? Jeez. Okay, discolored pipe and thorny flower. Cool. Oh, okay. It's that thing you see in some of the castle levels where you have to go through the passageways in a certain order if you want to progress, or else the level loops until you do it correctly. So I went down this middle passage and ran into a dead end, and the screen never scrolls to the left, so thanks a lot, assholes. I tried again and went down the bottom path this time, and damn, it's kind of irritating trying to swim in a narrow space like this. I just keep bouncing my head on the ceiling instead of coasting forward on momentum, you know? Or I could swim backwards, whatever I want. I have more room to swim backwards out here, so yeah. Then I get to the end. There's no end boss in sight, although we're underwater, so I guess that shouldn't surprise me. I get told that the princess is in another castle, and... the game simply freezes. Oh well. Number three is... Fucked Up Bros 2? What? Okay, the title screen has some glitchy artifacts. Is that all this is? What the fuck am I looking at? What'd they even do here? They made the characters a collection of Stickman ant sprites, some of whom are giving me the middle finger. Okay, well, let's see. Uh... What the hell? It's like when you're putting in random game genie codes and you neither know nor care what the effects are going to be. Oh, that's weird. Mario looks sort of normal when he picks up an object. I guess this isn't supposed to represent anything in particular. I don't know. Let's see if the POW block does anything weird. Ah, crap. Oh, small Mario looks normal. Oh, what the fuck was that shit? Both the waterfall and the radish leaves are alternating between the first two letters and the last two letters of the word fuck. Because, of course they are. Nice. Double hit. I really don't understand why the sprites look different between the character selection screen and the gameplay. But I guess being inconsistent is its own form of being fucked up. These characters look like some fancy hieroglyphics or something. And his fat ass just flickers while he runs. Okay, small Luigi looks normal too. Okay, here's Toad. He has the honor of having his sprite spell out the F word in his entirety. Only thing that bothers me about this one is... Why does the word fuck have to be backwards when you're running towards the right? That's the direction you're going to be headed 95% of the time. Ah, shit. I got hit. A small toe doesn't look like his normal self when he stands still, though. It's like we've got some Cheshire cat shit going on here. Okay, Princess Peach is... Uh... Is her entire head a skull? What is that? She looks normal carrying an object. I don't see why, though. It's not like you have to put in that much effort into making a fucked up sprite here for each different action. Even when she's tiny, she's not normal. 
I hate that kind of inconsistency, but if that's part of what they think makes the ROM fucked up, then congrats, I've had enough of it. Number four is Gothic Mario Brothers, and I'm not gonna spend two minutes on each game, by the way. I just can't make myself do it. Let's see, now I'm Eric and I'm confined to a shop instead of a whole world. Crow game? Okay, sure, I'll play a crow game. Really? We're starting underwater again with World Zero One? I bet this is made by the same people, or, or just person, that made Evil Mario. Oh, I don't know if there was a pole in the ceiling there in Evil Mario, but no, I can't go up there. Too bad, but okay, I've reached the end, let's see what this does. Thank you, Draven? Oh, I'm Draven now? Your quest is over, but Dollar has Sarah. Excuse me? Is it telling me it's impossible to beat this game if you get this far but always receive this message? At least this one eventually returns you to the main menu, so it doesn't crash, but... What the fuck was the point of all that? I completed the game in under one minute. Oh yeah, I get to watch a demo since I sat here long enough. The power-up says Dr. P. Is that supposed to be a can of Dr. Pepper? I'm not aware of any connections with gothic shit that that soft drink might have, but whatever. Number five is Jedi Mario Brothers. Okay, well... This has the potential to be interesting, although I have a feeling it's going to be only more disappointment and confusion. Oh great, no immediate graphical differences other than the text. Apparently I'm playing as Vader and- Son of a bitch, it's World Zero One again! Okay, this is the biggest letdown yet. They changed nothing here other than the potted flower. I forget what it's called. Okay, well you grab a lightsaber at the end. Nice. Okay, first of all, since there is an actual princess in Star Wars, it couldn't have been that much trouble to change up this message a bit. Secondly, why the fuck is Darth Vader the one rescuing the princess? Well, that's fucked up. I mean, that was the laziest one so far. Actually, what's really fucked up is that watching the demo is more entertaining than playing this particular ROM hack. Having the Goombas as droids is kind of cool, but couldn't Darth Vader just use them for war or something else instead? Why are we supposedly playing as the antagonist character anyways? Okay, up next. Make Mario great again? The fuck? Oh my god, they put him in a red hat! Okay, I lied, that's just the regular game. Up next for real is Mario Carnage 3. Well, Mario squashes everything in sight already by jumping on them, so I initially hoped that this would add pixelated blood or something. But no, not quite. The sprites are just kind of freaky looking. I don't know much about superheroes or villains, so it took me a few seconds to remember that I had heard of someone named Carnage before, but I really don't know anything else about him. What you see is what you get, I suppose. Going through 40 games is already going to be a chore, so I'm not interested in playing through the whole game each time I try a hack just to see what everything looks like. But it was only a matter of time before the characters as they appear in Super Mario Bros. 3 got put through the meat grinder, too. Maybe that's not a fair comment, I don't know, but... That's what I thought it was until I remembered Carnage was an actual character that was being referenced, so... Yeah, this one's fine. Number seven is Mario Cigarette. That's lovely. Oh god, it's World Zero One again. So not only does this cigarette have legs, it's underwater. Because that makes sense. Wow, what a bizarre walk cycle. That flower down there looks cool, though. It's like a multicolored candle with a halo around the flame. Or maybe a Bunsen burner. At least the character we're playing as is called Mario this time, but it's probably the worst sprite yet in some ways. Kind of looks like a sprite that you might see from Action 52. And the text at the end of the level is nothing special, just the usual stuff. Okay, once again, the demo of World 1-1 looks more exciting than World 0-1. <sighs> Why can't I ever play this level? Number 8, Mario Crappy. This might as well be about poop, because most of the other hacks have been shit already. What the fuck am I even looking at? Now I'm playing World 0 Swastika 1? Of course I am. Why are so many of these games in the same underwater level? This one can't even keep the text at the top of the screen from glitching up. I don't know what the fuck that is. 
They couldn't even render the water sprites at the bottom of the screen properly, so aside from the fact that it doesn't crash, this is probably the buggiest hack yet. Even the dialogue at the end of the level is fucked up too. I keep thinking I see the word ass somewhere in there. I don't know what's going on in the demo. The power-up mushroom is replaced by a block of text that says, It's odd. Yeah, no shit. They couldn't even render the clouds, hills, or the edges of the Goomba sprites properly either without it glitching up. Number 9. Mario... Diapers? Now I really am about to get a game about poop. Oh, of course. Another World Zero One hack. It's just... Mario wearing a diaper. Someone made this, for some reason. The text at the end of the level is normal, and the World 1-1 demo... Eh. Number 10. Mario Dino Brothers 2. Do we see Yoshi anywhere here? Whoa, wait a minute. Now it's Transformers Episode 2? What? Return of the Unicorn. Okay. There's even a whole rewritten story, but I'm not gonna sit here and read the whole thing. Well, this is a hell of a trip. There's Ben stuck in the ground waving you down for help, the mountains are made of tires, and for some reason the doors are replaced with other robots. Literally all of the scenery is made up of cars and other vehicles and robots. You also turn into a robot dinosaur when you get hit and would otherwise turn into small Mario. I don't know what else to say because I'd never gotten to Transformers as a kid. Sorry. Number 11, Mario Disco Brothers 2. I don't even care to guess what this one is going to be like. Yeah, another normal title screen other than messed up letters. Looks like these guys are going to a rave. So I'll play as the Magic Mushroom. Uh, speaking of which, a rave is literally about to happen for the next minute. So if you're prone to seizures, I'd look away from the screen for a moment. I'll play the following sound effect and tell you when you can look again. Okay, here we go. Holy fuck, this is horrible. Impressive, but horrible. Maybe it's better if I go through this door... Nope, it's just as bad as before. You might as well live on a planet orbiting a pulsar. At least then the radiation would kill you and you'd stop suffering. I sometimes find that I fall or run off the edges of cliffs much more often with all this flashing going on. Oh god, it stopped. Even if just for a couple of seconds. I was gonna say, fuck, I died, but... That was a welcome relief for a bit there. But when I make simple mistakes like that that I feel I wouldn't normally make and get myself killed, I don't know if I'm just distracted or if my brain can't process what I'm seeing as easily or what's going on. I mean, the waterfall looks like it could be flowing up for all I know. I mean, imagine playing this on an old CRT screen with no other light source in the room. Your eyes would catch on fire. Might as well be a rave for real. <laughs> Shit. Okay, you can look again. So if you had to close your eyes and missed out, these are the patterns that were flashing by, and at 60 frames a second you have a background change every 8 frames, or 7.5 times a second. There's 7 patterns per cycle, including a solid colored background that changes depending on what area of the game you're in. Alright, enough of that. Now we're at game number 12. Mario... DP? Oh, I hope it's not the DP I'm thinking of. Although Mario's a guy, so that shouldn't be possible anyways. Well, to this game's credit, I at least get to play in World 1-1 this time. I guess this game has to do with drugs or something. If it's referencing a particular movie, then I'm not sure what it is. Although my mind keeps thinking of the dude when I look at this sprite. I'm not sure how he would fit into all this, though. I mean, just the other sprites and shit. Oh, come on. It's a blunt. The fireballs still look normal, though, for the most part. Let's see what the invisibility star looks like. I have no idea. How come when I kill these enemies it says, uh, what, poo, instead of, I don't know, literally anything else? Alright, there's the castle. 
And why the fuck are coins represented as piles of shit now? I mean, they clearly have a stink rising up from them. Am I supposed to be discouraged from collecting them? I have no idea what these are even supposed to be. Like, reject jack-in-the-box clowns. Number 13, we have Mario Mario. I'm not gonna try to guess what this is either, unless... This is a hack of the game based off the movie, which was based on the original game. That'd be weird. Okay, what the fuck am I? An egg? And I'm in World Zero One again, what could he fucking do? It almost looks like I'm rolling myself across the ground, though. At least I can make him bounce off the ceiling if I hold the A button down on a turbo controller. Too bad it doesn't crack open the shell. The text is fucked up here, because of course it is. Now, when the demo starts from the main menu, I don't know what's going on, but when you get Big Mario, it's fucking scary. That's something you would see in your nightmares, like someone had part of their flesh ripped off their muscles and was forced to continue roaming the earth in constant agony. Okay, happy thoughts now. Number 14... Oh, come on! Really? Am I even allowed to do this one? Oh look, World Zero One. Again. Okay, basically I'm just skinny dipping here. There isn't much else you can say about this. I'm not even gonna show the demo because when Mario touches the mushroom power up, his Italian sausage gets a few pixels longer. Number 15, Mario Opposite. If this is just a Luigi sprite that Player One controls, I'm gonna cry. Oh, never mind. They just turned all the text upside down. Who gives a shit? And I can still see it's World Zero One. Do I even need to play this one? Oh look! Mario's head is on backwards. That's so funny I forgot to shit myself. Well, the demo is a little more interesting to look at here, but I don't understand why when he's small Mario his face disappears when he stands still. That doesn't happen to him when he's big Mario. Number 16, Mario Pimp Brothers. Sure, why not? World Zero One again? Sure, why not? At this point, I shouldn't even be bothering to swim through this level, but this time around it might say something different or funny at the end instead of, the princess is in another castle. Maybe it'll tell me I need to look somewhere else for hose. What the hell is stout? Well, I'm severely disappointed. In the demo, the mushroom is a square that says Playboy, and there's other weird text and shit. I don't, I don't know what's going on, honestly. Number 17, Mario Potato Brothers. Again, I don't even care to try and guess what this is going to be like, other than another instance of World Zero One. Oh, shocker, I was right about World Zero One. Is this literally all this is? I'm just playing as a potato spud with legs? I swam through that underwater level again, nothing interesting or unique at all. Although during the demo, when you get a power-up, you become... something. Who the fuck cares, honestly? All I can think of is that it's Yoshi hatched from an egg, but then why call it Potato Brothers? Actually, I also removed a ROM from this whole lineup called Yoshi Mario, and the reason I initially cut that one was because it's exactly the same as Mario Potato Brothers. Or at least so I thought. But one difference I can see now is that you're called Mario in this one. So why am I called Yoshi in the ROM file that's called Potato Brothers? Some asshole looked at this and mixed up the names or something. I don't even know. It might as well be a walking chocolate chip cookie for all I care. Number 18. Mario Satanic Freak Brothers. Because we need more of that. Yep, that's pretty much what I would have expected. World Zero One again. Or excuse me, Blunt. Well, no, now it says Abyss. God, fuck these games. Okay, so now Mario has a blunt, which makes his mustache look like it's extending several inches beyond the tip of his nose. There isn't even anything satanic about this, it's just weed and curse words. This is like a 13-year-old's idea of what edginess is like. The end screen isn't anything special, it just says, Fuck you, Mario! Even though the game calls you Satan above your score counter. The demo just has more weed references and curse words. Well, there's upside-down crosses sprinkled around, too, but that's about as satanic as it gets. Yeah, moving on. Number 19. Looks like the same concept, but a hack of the second Mario game instead. Well, at least they put a little effort into modifying the characters on the title screen. Oh, fuck no, not another flashing background. I mean, this one isn't nearly as bad as the disco ROM, but I've had enough of that for one lifetime. But I guess I'm playing as the devil now fighting against other demons for some reason. 
Wouldn't it make more sense to throw an upside down cross at an angel? Whatever, at least the Super Mario Bros. 2 hacks don't do stupid shit like only letting you play on World 0-1 or something. Number 20. Yeah, a lot of these names are gonna be stupid shit like this. So Mario doesn't even show up on the title screen of this one, you just get the word die next to player 1. And just like in the first game, that Atari 2600 parody, nothing happens. Even if I sit and wait long enough for a demo to play itself out, nothing happens there either. And I went back and checked 2600 Bros since I didn't think to do it earlier, but there's no demo for that either. Number 21. Oh good, I like cats. Oh, this looks elaborate. And it's not World Zero One this time. Just looking at this title screen fills me with some hope that this might be a somewhat decent hack that has some quality standards and can be enjoyable in its own right. At least that's what I thought. Until I realized this is the third cart that doesn't do shit. No, 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 no. Somebody put their name and email on the title screen. Effort went into the appearance of the title screen. There's just got to be something I'm missing here. And it's not just that my emulator of choice is messing these few games up. I, I tried some of them on other emulators, too, and got the same result. I don't know what to make of this. It just doesn't make any sense to me at all. I even sent an email to this guy, but I don't think the email address works anymore since I got an error message from that, too. So, I, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. Fuck. Number 22. Mario Zelda. Okay, I, I have a confession to make. I've never played a Zelda game. Ever. You'd think that given that the main image that I use on this channel combines the character Link from The Legend of Zelda with the symbol of the Deathly Hollows from Harry Potter that I might be a fan of both franchises equally. But no, I just did that because I thought it was clever. I don't know. I always wanted to try a Zelda game, I just never got around to it. Pretty much everything I know about The Legend of Zelda comes from watching AVGN episodes. Well, let's see what we've got here, though. Okay, Mario is renamed to Link. We have a little elf sprite here, and it's World Zero One. Again. Yeah, just more swimming bullshit as usual. The end has some candle thing. I'm not sure what that reference is, unfortunately. So the demo starts, and it looks like little Link is moving himself along on a skateboard or something. When you power up to make yourself bigger, I think it mimics the same sprite you see in Zelda, too. Yeah, pretty much. He's just missing the sword. Okay, number 23. Mario's hood. Okay, he's wearing a helmet. This version of World Zero One once again has no interesting variations, and the demo just has... weird shapes. I don't know. Number 24. Mario's Stone Age Adventure. I don't know what this shape is at the end of World Zero One, and at first glance it would seem they didn't even bother to modify the player's sprite in any way, but instead of transforming into Big Mario, you get Medium Mario on a dinosaur. Or maybe it's a bipedal camel or some shit. Oh, no, nah, I see the tiny arms. Number 25, Medieval Brothers, which is misspelled, by the way. Nothing special in this version of World Zero One or the demo, although everything other than the eyes of the player sprite seem to be a solid color. I guess it's supposed to be a full suit of armor, I don't know. Number 26, Mixed Up Mario Brothers. There's nothing noteworthy about World Zero One, and the demo... There are very few differences. Other than the power-ups are a cluster of bananas, and these guys kind of remind me of the character Mr. Popo from Dragon Ball Z. There are contextual reasons why characters such as Mr. Popo don't offend me like an actual minstrel show would, so... I guess this one's not offensive. Well, no, actually, it's not okay. It sucks like all the other World Zero One bullshit hacks. Number 27. Mushroom Dreams? This had better have psychedelics as a theme. Oh, never mind. The emulator gave me a CPU jam error. So that ROM is an extra level of fucked up. I don't even get a title screen this time around. I'm pretty sure going blind and experiencing nothing is literally the exact opposite of what would happen if you did magic mushrooms. Number 28. Music Mario Brothers. I was hoping maybe for different background music. What I got instead was a different title screen. And that's it. Once again, it's one of those unresponsive pictures that doesn't respond to any controller inputs after it loads. How are so many of these things fucked up? 
and the emulator doesn't give me a CPU jam error for these kinds of ROMs after the title screen loads, so it's some other kind of issue. Number 29, Odd Mario. That's kind of redundant, given everything else we've seen so far. Well, the title screen lives up to its name already, I'm not sure what kind of theme they're going for here, but the background is almost as fucked up as the Disco Brothers animated background. It's kind of weird how the player sprite is above the background, but the flower isn't. And nothing in this world makes sense. Number 30, Quest for the Missing Hat. Now, compared to pretty much everything else I've seen so far, just the name of this alone feels like it's advertising something great and elaborate, while in reality it's just another clone of the same disappointing shit. Oh, why am I not surprised? He has hair, the scenery is a bit different, and he's named Wario this time around, but it's fucking World Zero One yet again. Nothing special about it, although this one confirms for me that yeah, I'm literally putting myself in life-threatening situations to get a fucking hat back rather than buying another one. All the game is mocking our protagonist here, the fucking clouds have hats, the power-up appears to be a hat, even though the bigger sprite is still hatless, the bushes have hats, and the Goombas not only have hats, but I think they tried to go with that old evil mustache look. Number 31, RPG Brothers. You know, I never tried the actual Super Mario RPG game. I heard it's good. So I load the game, see it says World 1-1, and I'm all excited only to figure out that this one doesn't fucking respond to any controller inputs either. So that's another dud. Number 32, Super Mario 4. I have an unlicensed slash hacked Game Boy ROM with that same name. It absolutely sucks, but I wonder if the same guys made this NES ROM too. Whoa, holy shit. They certainly put in some time and effort on the look of this one. But it's World Zero One again. Because of course it is. I guess since this looks different enough, I'll show actual gameplay for a couple of seconds. Looks like they ripped the sprites from Super Mario World on SNES. Okay, that's enough of that. The demo's nothing special, just more ripped off sprites. It's still kind of cool to look at, I guess. Number 33, Super Mario Bros. 2000. Ooh, an animated landscape. Interesting. What the fuck is all that shit up there in the sky? Uh, there isn't much to look at here, and World Zero One looks like it had some blocks and other elements of this bridge ripped from later Mario games as well. Number 34, Super Mario Bros. Enhanced. I guarantee you that regardless of this ROM's name, nothing in here is going to impress me. Yeah, same World Zero One shit, so I'm just showing the demo again. Actually, this seems visually similar to the previous ROM, and I find it interesting that in both cases, they seem to have ripped sprites from a Game Boy game this time around, specifically Super Mario Land 2, the six golden coins. Ignoring the obvious color differences, the sprites are nearly pixel-perfect copies. Pretty neat. Number 35, Super Mario Bros. Extreme. I don't even need to say anything. You probably already guessed that this was going to be World Zero One clone again, and you'd have been right. The changes are minimal, and... There's just nothing to say here. What's so extreme about it? Oh, number 36, Super Mario Bros. Bullet Bill Hack. I hope all the enemies are Bullet Bills. Oh Jesus, that's a different looking menu. And it's World 1-1? One, one? And it responds to the controller? Oh god, I'm excited. I'm playing as Boo. Gonna jump on that springboard thingy, and I fucking miss the mushroom. I hate those springboards. What? Okay, so a mushroom turns Boo into Bullet Bill. Whatever. I like the visuals and all. Looks like they borrowed a few sprites from Super Mario Bros. 3. But when I'm Bullet Bill, I don't have legs, so I can't see how close my sprite is standing on the edge of a platform. Like, how close am I to the edge here? Oh, there it is. Seems like I start to fall when the red line and the sprite becomes flush with the edge of the platform. But should I really be complaining? We have something new, different, hell, even a custom level layout to explore rather than navigating a differently colored World 1-1. Ooh, Fire Flower. Now I'm a red hot bullet. Are you kidding me though? World 1-1 has Hammer Brothers in it? 
There's probably a second one. Yep, there it is. At least I'm equipped with fireballs, so it's easy to deal with them, but that's not what I would have expected on the first level. Well, it's nice that I found a 1-up, though. Oh, wow, they even put a lava texture in here. Not that it matters, you'd die either way if you fell down there, but damn. I guess I'll just keep following these Mario bullets. I guess some parts of the level layout didn't change. Oh well, that does sort of implicitly tell you that you've reached the end of World 1-1 anyways. I only got one firework? That's depressing. Alright, World 1-2. I forgot I could duck his bullet bill. That's just really weird. Well, let's see what we've got. Well, they were quite generous with the extra lives, weren't they? And yes, there's still a warp zone, but I'm not gonna show the whole game if some of you want to see what lies beyond here on your own instead of having me spoil it. Those were some nice moves. Ah, shit. Ah, damn it. Oh well, I do like how normally you'd have Mario's walk cycle speeding up and slowing down as you run around, but with Boo or Bill, you're just smoothly gliding along without a care in the world. That's kind of cool. Ah, fuck. Oh wow, five lives left though. This is by far the best one. Shit! Now I am doing pretty badly. I think there was a 1-up at the beginning here, wasn't there? Come on. Yeah, there was. A lot of good that did me, though. But think about it, putting a 1-up at the beginning of a level is basically like giving you unlimited lives. That's... a really odd level design choice. I think I'm done here, honestly, but hey, best ROM hack I've seen so far. It's not even close, none of the other hacks are remotely this fun or original. Just out of curiosity though, I did watch the demo play itself out, and Boo runs away from the power-up mushroom like a dumbass and then gets killed. Yeah. Number 37. There's no way anything else is gonna top the Bullet Bill hack. We have... Super Mystery Science Theater 3000. You gotta be shitting me. What the fuck? That's hardly any different from most of the other shit I've looked at. World Zero One is the same thing as usual, by the way. I should watch Super Mystery Science Theater 3000 sometime. Now, there's a few sprite differences, though, but I don't know what the hell the Goombas are supposed to be. Look at that! What happened to them? Number 38, Super Peach. You play as Peach with a bad case of pink eye. Are you supposed to rescue Mario instead? Oh look, I was correct. You do have to rescue Mario. But good lord, they fucked up the spacing really bad here. They couldn't have fixed that? And the demo is nothing special. All the enemy sprites are the same, although they're a bit miscolored at times. Number 39, Super Sperm Brothers. Because of course, that's a thing. Well, I'll give it a hell of a lot more credit than nearly every other game I've looked at so far. You can actually play World 1-1. But I can barely see my sprite. I don't understand why it looks this way when I'm standing still here. Okay, prediction time. The mushroom is replaced with an egg and touching it turns me into a walking embryo or something. Oh, well, fully grown man. But I was mostly correct. It's much easier to jump where you want to when you're a larger sprite. I was having trouble with that when I was three pixels high. And when I get to this substitute for the fire flower. I don't know what it's supposed to be. A condom? But I get the power up and... yeah. Invincibility star is... oh shit, that was dumb. And man, you can barely see these enemies coming towards you, especially if you're sprinting forwards. Alright, enough of this level. Well, I got 5,000 points. At least I can hit the top of the flagpole. Seriously? At least I have another opportunity to see what the invincibility power-up looks like. God damn it! Now I can't break the blocks underneath it to... access it. Those are the turtles. I can't believe those are what the turtles look like now. 
God, it, this is gonna bug me. Should I just kill myself and start this level over? Oh, okay, fine. Alright, let's see here. It's just a vagina, I think. Well, that's all there is to really see. Bowser and Toad look the same, the Hammer Brothers and the jumping fish things are... the same. What the fuck did they do to those flowers? And finally, number 40, Toilet Mario. What a great game to finish with. Oh look, another unresponsive title screen. What an unclimatic yet fitting end to the video. I mean, what else is there to say? Like, only the bullet bill hack is really anything special or original. And there's a few sprite hacks where some care and effort were put into how they look, resulting in something that looks kinda decent. But let's be real here, most of these ROMs are fucking garbage. Why are so many of them so similar with this World Zero One crap? Or just outright unresponsive title screens? I considered the possibility that I might be doing something wrong, or something was messed up with my computer or emulator, but I sent a couple of these unresponsive ROMs to a couple of other people and they got the same results too. And all these fucking World Zero One games, like Evil Mario... Wait... What the fuck, I'm in World One One now? God damn it! <sighs> okay... You know what you have to do to make these work correctly on some emulators like NES-topia? You have to hold down the A button while pressing Start in the menu screen. Great. Really wish I had figured that out earlier. But I guess it's my fault. I didn't think to do a Google search on that until after I had written most of the script for this video. Even though I googled other issues like the unresponsive menu screens, but... Whatever, what you saw here was still my genuinely confused initial thoughts and experiences with all these ROMs for the first time that I tried them out. The ROMs are still fucked up, of course, even if it's a relatively simple workaround to get into World 1-1. Hold A while pressing Start, motherfuckers. Yeah, let's not put that anywhere on any of the menu screens. It's not like there's a massive blank space where the usual Super Mario Bros. sign is missing. I'll have a list of all the ROM names in the video description if you want to search for any of them. So, they'll all be in one place, but... Yeah, that's my random collection of ROMs I collected for some reason a few years ago. So in conclusion... Uh... <sighs> fuck my life.